Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Samantha and I'm the mom here at Ferguson Family Danes. And today we are going to show you um, how we take care of the puppies. This is kind of like a week update, week old update. And we're just gonna show you um, how we take care of the big dogs, getting them fed, and then our routine with the little puppies. So I'm just going to put some dry food in here and then here's her postnatal and they don't terribly like it so I just crumble it up and then we give them some ground up venison or beef whatever we have and then also they can get some diarrhea after labor so we like to put in this firm up that helps things kind of get a little bit harder and then also we give them fenugreek I have it in pill form so I'm gonna give her some of that first sit good girl okay good girl make sure she gets all that good girl good girl and then I just mix it up. Oh, and I forgot the egg. I'm gonna put the egg in there too. So we add an egg just for some extra, and um, the shell for some extra fat, and then the shell adds some calcium. So we just put that in there and give that to her. No, Kimber, come. Okay, so now that we got the big dogs taken care of, we are going to start ENS and ESI with the little puppies. And that stands for early neurological stimulation and early scent introduction. So we will kind of explain those things as we get started and then you can watch how we do it. Okay, so Hayden's gonna start doing ENS, which again is early neurological stimulation and she has four positions. She holds the puppy head up for three to five seconds, on its back for three to five seconds, and then upside down for three to five seconds. And then she puts them on a thermal situation. We have just a, an ice pack. And then the last thing that she does is just tickles the toes in between each one. Yeah. And the purpose of this is that there's been studies done and experts believe that um, days three through 16 of the puppy's life um, is a rapid time of neurological growth and development. So the, these positions help um, jumpstart the brain and it helps to create success early in life as a puppy. Um, and it gives each puppy a beautiful head start for their future families. So we are doing this so that the puppies are um, super smart for their future homes. So now that I am done with ENS, I do early set introduction and that is called ESI. And we have this little kit here. It shows you all the days and what you are going to help them smell that day. You also have two extra ones that you can put other ones in. So we are on day 10. So we'll take day 10 out. And it says coconut on it, so they'll just be coconut. And then make them smell. So that would have been a positive. So how do you know if it's positive? Well, because they keep trying to smell more of it. Um, neutral is they're going in and out, so they want to smell it, but they also don't. And then um, negative is they just don't really like it. Okay. And then... And then um, we'll... Another thing that I wanted to tell you is 24 hours of a puppy's life equals six months of a baby, a baby's human's life. So they grow super, super fast. Also, um... Dogs can smell 20 more, um, 20 times better than us. Also, some tracker breeds, sorry, I've, my tongue's been twisted up a little bit. <laughs> 60 <laughs> times better than humans. So, yep, and we'll move on with the next puppy. 
So now that I'm done with ENS and ESI, I go ahead and weigh the puppies daily. 22. Okay. And then I just have this binder that we keep a chart of each puppy that is for one puppy only. So let's get on with it. puppies that aren't gaining the amount of weight that we want, we supplement them by giving them some, some goat's milk. So we're lucky enough to have a gentleman who can get us some raw goat's milk. So any puppies, like I said, that just aren't quite gaining the weight we want them to, we'll give them a little bit of goat's milk. So Hayden's going to sit there and give the baby some bottles. So we finished up, sorry the lighting's bad, but we finished up with Kimber's litter and now Hayden's gonna take a break <laughs> and I'm gonna head and do Benelli's litter. Okay, so I'm in with Benelli's litter. I'll show you them. They are doing really well. She's being a really good mommy, keeping them cleaned up. So she's doing really well. So I'll go ahead and do ESI and ENS with them. And I did just want to explain, I know we kind of told you the, the science behind it and things, but you know, our goal here at Ferguson Family Danes is to provide you with the best puppy that we possibly can. Um, you know, we've been very thorough about the genetics and the health testing and the temperament and making sure that, um, you know, we're providing you with a healthy, healthy, um, great Dane puppy, but we also want to provide you with a puppy who is going to be well behaved. And part of that is training. Um, you know, the Great Dane is is naturally a really good dog. Um, so if you, even if you didn't do anything and we didn't, you know, go to the trouble of doing with all of this, um, they would still be a really good dog. Um, I know a lot of breeders don't take time to do this and that's totally fine. Um, I guess I haven't reached out to the breeders that we got our girls from to see if they did um, this, but either way, you know, <clears throat> we want to do the best things possible for these puppies so that um, they make the best family pet possible. So that's why we're going through all the extra effort to do this. And um, we're just very thankful for the extra snuggles during the day. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I just finished up with Benelli's puppies and the other thing that we do each day is we change out their whelping pads and wipe off the whelping box so I'm gonna put them in a basket and move them to the side and then get the whelping box cleaned up. or the whelping box all cleaned up. Benelli's getting ready to lay back down and then I'll put all of her puppies in. They sleep so well when they get all piled in here, scrunched together. <laughs> so we'll get them put back here with Benelli. Here you go, mama. Here you go, mama. 
So I think that's it for today's video. We got the laundry put in and got Benelli and her puppies back together here. <laughs> it is so funny. As soon as she gets back in the whelping box, they're like attacking. It is so cute. And then they'll start nursing and their little tails will be wagging and it's so cute. So if you want to continue to follow us along in our journey, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Oh, and check in in a couple days. We're going to introduce you to all these guys. Benelli's Blue Litter. So stay tuned for that. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.